In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the exact value of trig functions. So the first thing we need to talk about are the 30, 60, 90 right triangle. You need to be familiar with this special triangle. Across the 30 degree angle is 1. Across the 60 degree angle is the square root of 3. And the hypotenuse is 2. Now the second triangle you need to be familiar with is the 45, 45, 90 triangle. So across the 45 degree angles, the sides are equal to 1. Across the 90 degree angle, it's the square root of 2. And you also need to be familiar with something called SOHCAHTOA. This tells us the equations for the sine ratio, the cosine ratio, and the tangent ratio. So let's say we want to find the exact value of sine 30 degrees. So we would use this formula, I mean that part of SOHCAHTOA. It tells us that sine 30 is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. Opposite to 30 is 1, and the hypotenuse of that triangle is 2. So the exact value of sine of 30 degrees is 1 over 2. Now let's work on some other examples. Let's say we want to find the value of cosine 5 pi over 6. So what is the exact value of that particular trig function? Well, it helps to convert the angle from radians to degrees. And to do that, multiply it by 180 over pi. Pi is equal to 180 degrees. Note that the unit pi will cancel. So first, let's divide 180 by 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3. So 180 divided by 6, that's going to be 30. And 30 times 5 is 150. So cosine 5 pi over 6 is the same as cosine 150 degrees. Now, you might be wondering, how do we evaluate cosine 150? Because we don't have that in our two special triangles. So what we need to do is plot 150 degrees and then create one of these two triangles from it. So starting from the positive x-axis, this is 90 and this is 150. So now let's create our reference triangle. Notice that 150 is 30 degrees away from the negative x-axis, which is 180 degrees away from the positive x-axis. So it creates a reference angle of 30. And if we draw a right triangle, we know that this is going to be 90 and this is 60. So now we can put these values in that triangle. We just need to incorporate the negative signs depending on what quadrant we're dealing with. So this is quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. In quadrant 2, x is negative. So this is going to be negative square root 3. And in that quadrant, y is positive. So this is just going to be 1. And the hypotenuse is always going to be positive. So now we have everything that we need to know in order to get the answer. So cosine 150 degrees is equivalent to cosine of the reference angle, or cosine of 30 in quadrant 2. And using SOHCAHTOA, cosine is going to be equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So that's what's symbolized by A and H. So adjacent to 30 is negative square root 3. And the hypotenuse is 2. So cosine of 5 pi over 6, which is the same as cosine 150, that's equal to negative square root 3 over 2. And that's the exact value. Now, here's another example. Let's try tangent pi over 6. So feel free to pause the video if you want to try that problem. Now let's convert it from radians to degrees. Now remember, pi is equal to 180. So pi over 6 is 180 divided by 6, which is 30 degrees. So if you simply replace pi with 180, 
you can quickly change it to degrees. So what is tangent 30? Well, based on Sokotoa, tangent is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So opposite to 30 is 1. Adjacent to 30 is the square root of 3. Now, we don't want to leave our answer like this. We want to rationalize the denominator. And we can do that by multiplying the top and the bottom by the square root of 3. The square root of 3 times the square root of 3, that's going to be the square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. So tangent pi over 6 is equal to positive square root 3 over 3. Now, let's move on to our next example. So next up, we're going to try cosine of 240 degrees. Take a minute and work on that problem. So let's begin by drawing a reference triangle. So this is 90, 180, 270. So we need to go back a little. So 90, 180. So 240 should be somewhere right there. Why does that keep happening? This computer has issues. So let's draw the reference angle. So if this is 90, 180, then the difference between 240 and 180 gives us our reference angle, which is 60. And so 30 is right here. Now we know that across the 30 degree angle is 1. And in quadrant 3, both x and y are negative. So this is going to be negative 1. Across 60 is root 3, but it's going to be negative square root 3. And the hypotenuse is going to be positive 2. So cosine 240 is going to be the same as cosine 60, but in quadrant 3. So using adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent to our reference angle 60, that's going to be negative 1. And the hypotenuse is 2. So cosine of 240 is equal to negative 1 half. Now let's consider tangent of negative 45 degrees. So once again, let's draw our reference triangle. Now a positive angle well, in order to draw a positive angle, you need to move counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. In order to draw a negative angle, you need to move clockwise from the positive x-axis. So we're going to travel 45 degrees this way, which means our reference angle is 45 degrees, but in quadrant 4. Now, we know that across the 45 degree angle, it's going to be 1, but in quadrant 4, x is positive, but y is negative. And the hypotenuse is going to be positive square root 2. So now, using Sokotoa, it's going to be the opposite side. We'll use this 45 degree angle. Opposite to that is negative 1, divided by the adjacent side, which is 1. So tangent of negative 45 is simply equal to minus 1. Now let's work on one more problem, and that's going to be sine of 10 pi over 3. Feel free to pause the video if you want to try that. Let's begin by converting the angle from radians to degrees, and let's replace pi with 180. So let's divide 180 by 3. 180 divided by 3 well, we know 18 divided by 3 is 6, so 180 divided by 3 is 60. And then if we multiply 10 by 60, this will give us an angle of 600 degrees. So sine of 10 pi over 3 is equal to sine of 600 degrees. So this is 90, 180, 270, 360, 450, 540, and if we go 60 degrees more, we'll end up at 600. So that's an angle of 600 degrees. 
So note that 600 is the same as 90, 180, 240, because this is 60 degrees more. So 600 and 240, they land at the same location. They are coterminal angles. Keep in mind a full circle is 360. So if you were to simply subtract 600 degrees by 360, you get the coterminal angle of 240. And that's what you need to do when you're dealing with very large angles or even negative angles. So if you get an angle that's greater than 360, like 500 or 600, subtract it by 360. Let's say if you have a super large angle, like 1,000, keep subtracting by 360 until the angle is between 0 and 360. Now, let's say if you have a negative angle, like cosine negative 800. Instead of subtracting it by 360, you want to add by 360 until you get an angle between 0 and 360. So you need to add 360 multiple times. So I'm going to take a calculator just to demonstrate that. So if we take a negative 800 and add 360 to it, it's going to be negative 440. If we add 360 again, it's going to be negative 80. And then if you add it one more time, that's 280. 280 is the angle that I would use. So these are coterminal angles, and they will yield the same value. So sine of 600 is the same as sine of 240. So now let's create our reference angle at 240. So this is 90, 180, 60 more is 240. So our reference angle is 60 degrees. If this is 60, we know this is 30. And let's draw our 90 degree angle. So we're dealing with quadrant three, which means X and Y are both negative. So across 60, that's going to be the square root of 3. And across 30, that is going to be 1, but negative 1. And then let's put our hypotenuse. So using Sokotoa, we know that sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So our reference angle is 60. Opposite to 60 is negative square root 3. And the hypotenuse is 2. So sine 10 pi over 3 is equal to negative square root 3 over 2. So now you know how to find the exact value of trigonometric functions.